Gardens with our Earth Fair benefit that helps all the kids here in Galveston Island as well as Galveston County come out to visit Moody Gardens for field trips as well as us going to them and outreach experiences. Ever. Herb Fair 2020, our eighth year, and it uh, is a fabulous fair. Our herb of the year this year is coffee. Now, technically, I know coffee is not an herb, but we stepped outside the box and we let our speakers choose uh, the herb that they want to research and to present. And our chef, Chef Andreas, uh, I think he got really excited this year in preparing his dishes because they were all centered around coffee. Uh, and he did an exceptional job. Eats do taste better coffee flavored. <laughs> we had some great cooking uh, demonstrations uh, in the fair. Uh, Chef Mary Bass did her concoction in a palm bowl. And we also had Donita Brennan, who is the horticulturist for Moody Gardens at doing a cooking demonstration. Also, we sell raffle tickets and every vendor contributes a basket to that. And then at the end of the luncheon, we draw the winners. We also have a silent auction where people have donated items and that's helped us with our outreach program. We should mention our garden blessing. This was the first year we've had rain, so it was a blessing from Mother Nature. But it went on anyway. We had a covered area where we could all be close together and hear all of the speakers without any problems. We had a flutist who was a wonderful musician and she played lovely selections to accompany the Garden Blessing speakers. Her name was Annette Claremont and we are glad to have her with us. We also got to do our rose petal uh, blessings right there by a Texas mountain laurel that was in bloom and it just smelled divine. After the art fair, we have a workshop up this year with Koki Damas. We have a master gardener, Carolyn Gephardt, that led that, but it was a lot of fun. We also have a traveling trunk show that goes out to local schools and schools off the island. Uh, it goes to hospitals, libraries, senior centers, and it is promoting the, the mission of conservation of species. That way we get the message out to everyone.